And if I said I didn't want it, I could tell by your eyes that you focus. Yeah. Come and hop on this pony. Come and hop on this pony. Cannot dive in your ocean. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is London Tay coming to you today with another video. And I'm back at it with my Morphe 35B dupe palette. I'm just going to jump straight into the tutorial like always. I am going to start off with the transition color and use a fluffy brush to go ahead and do that. Next, I am going to use the light pink color and use the same fluffy brush as a transition color as well. Just to blend all that in together. Just blend, blend, blend till you can't blend no more. Next, I'm going to use the exact same pink color, but I'm going to use a more dense brush and go ahead into the upper crease area and just blend that out. Build that color up, blend it out, build that curl up, color up, and just keep on going back and forth and dipping into the color. Now I'm just going to go back to the fluffy brush and back to their transition color and just blend the outside areas of that color just to make sure, you know, it's all mush and blend it in together. Next I'm going to reach into the purple color and I am going to get a more um, crease brush and I'm going to just define the crease a little bit with that purple color and just keep on adding that on. Next I'm going to pull that hot pink color and I'm going to just use a flat brush and just apply it in patting motions on my lid and just blend everything out and that's all I'm doing. I'm just going back and blending everything out with the same colors I originally used. Next, I'm going to just get the concealer and I'm going to just clean up and make a sharp line instead of using a wipe and just make it look a little more cleaner, you know? And everything else is self-explanatory. I've had my foundation routine in other videos. So if you guys want to check those out, I will link those in the description box below. And of course, I will always include the products listed. I use nothing but drugstore products because I'm super, super frugal with my money <laughs> when it comes to certain things. Well, most things. So all the, like I said, all the products will be in the description box. And also, my face was already prepped and primed, washed, prepped and primed, and moisturized. And I also had color corrected, and I prepped and primed my eyes as well. So I just went ahead and jumped right into the video. Um, also, ignore my skin. My skin has been breaking out so bad because I've been eating terrible and not drinking enough water. But I'm definitely on the mission to clear my skin up again and give you guys another, like, well, give you guys a skincare routine. Because I really, I clean, I clear my skin up already previously. So I just want to go ahead and give you guys, um, a skincare routine whenever I clear my skin up again but I am going to be back whenever I am going to do my hair okay guys see you in a minute Okay guys, so for my hair, I am going to start on dirty hair. I don't even think my hair has been clean in a while. And I'm just going to spritz my hair with water and moisturize it with, some, with the Becca Curls Leave-In Conditioner. Just to give it enough slip. After that, I'm going to part my hair down the middle with a rat tail comb. Make sure the parts are straight and clear and easy to see. And then after that, I'm going to pin one side of my hair up and detangle the other side of my hair. Next, after that, I'm going to use the Eco Style Gold Gel and I'm going to apply that on the hair that I'm going to start with and then brush that gel into it, um, into my hair and get it smooth. And then, of course, I'm going to leave the hair out for my edges because I love my little baby hairs. Oh, why not? But yes, after that, I'm just going to do a, like a regular um, overhand braid and corn roll it all the way down to the end of my hair. 
I still swung, hit a home run, and look fear in the face, I don't run I seen that, but I'm still blessed, I come from a world of no love I'm hustling off of my family, boy, I never had nothing in hand to me People done shit to me, you can't believe, back in high school, bitches were laughing at me Now they're hitting me up, saying what's up, do you remember me, I'm trying to fuck mm, nah, I don't fuck with you, if the struggle hard, gotta hustle harder Put me in the game, I'm the fucking starter, I'm the man in my city like Peter Parker My only role model to my mom and father, I'ma pay their bills, stack that bread So much damn shit going on in my head, used to think that I'd be better off there Then I realized every day is a blessing After comb rolling my damp hair all the way down to the ends, I'm going to use the Got To Be Free Spray and I'm going to spray that all over my hair just to keep that in place. And then I'm going to use a rubber band and rubber band the end, tie my ends up for my hair and rubber band that. And fold my hair in half. Since my hair is pretty long, I want to kind of shorten the length up to make it easier to do. And I'm just going to fold my hair up and just rubber band it down. That way it stays secure. And of course, I'm just going to um, ponytail it and put the rubber bands on the base of the braid as well. After that, I'm going to use a, um, a plastic bag from a regular plastic bag from like Vilo or Kroger or whatever grocery store you use. And I'm going to cut that in half, open it up, and then wrap that around the stem of my braid. That way, make sure that it's sturdy and it's able to hold the hair that I'm going to glue on it. And it's able to protect my hair from the glue as well. And I'm going to wrap that and um, rubber band that as well. And then I'm just going to use a black wrap strip to make sure the white doesn't show through the braid. And it also gives us more stability and also more protection against the glue that I'm going to apply. And then just rubber band the ends of that as well. After that, I just go ahead and repeat the other side. And then use another wrap strip and tie my edges up just to make sure it dries flat and secure and tamed and straight. Um, and also, the glue that I'm using is just a regular black glue. I'm going to start gluing the tracks. Um, the hair that I'm using, it's like old, 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 old hair that I bought from AliExpress like two years ago. And I'm just going to use that. It's like, it's like a deep curl hair. And what you do is you're just going to start, you're going to apply the glue to the, the glue to the track and then you're going to start wrapping in circular motions around the base of the braid and you're just continue wrapping up gluing as you wrap and then wrapping up i suggest you glue like kind of small portions at one time because if not the glue will just start sticking anywhere it lands so i advise you just um do it in small section and just continue wrapping up up and up and up and up and once you get started getting close you're not going to want to apply any glue to the like about hmm, let's say about three inches of the track that way you don't get any glue on your hair part and you're able to just wrap that regularly around um so yeah as so you can see i'm just wrapping it regular around i did put glue on there and i ended up wiping it off but once you wrap that around the base of the hair you're just going to get the uh, the last piece of the track a, a piece of the hair of the track and then you're going to apply glue to that track and wrap it on the the weave and not on your hair make sure you wrap it on the base of the weave and that's just going to hide the tracks and it's also going to secure that the the hair that you wrapped around your your ponytail does not get unraveled and then i'm just going to use a blow dryer on warm heat and then go ahead and dry that out after spritzing some got to be glue free spray on that area as well and this just going to make everything tacky and make sure that everything is stuck together and after that, I just repeated the other side. As you can see, it's really easy to do and things like that. And of course, it's like a water wave hair, a deep wave hair. So I'm just going to spritz it with water and leave it in this natural curl pattern. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me hair and makeup. If you want more Get Ready With Me, just go ahead and leave a comment below and say, I want more. <laughs>